Welcome to Embrilliance Alpha Tricks. This program gives you the ability to create a keyboard font from alphabet embroidery designs that you have on your computer. To make the mapping process easier, you will want only one format in each folder. For most of you, this won't be an issue. If your alphabet designs have more than one size available, for example, one inch, three inch, you may want to separate the different sizes into different folders and even map those as separate fonts, which gives you more options. When you open your Embrilliance Essentials with Alphatrix Feature Pack installed, you will notice that you have a new icon button at the top of the screen, the needle with the ABC next to it. This is the shortcut for starting the import process, which can also be found under the Utility menu, Import Font. Selecting this button launches the Import Font dialog box and asks you if you would like to begin importing a font. Yes, we would. The dialog opens for us to navigate to the folder on our computer that has the alphabet designs in it. They can be zipped or unzipped. Just remember that if they are zipped, the program has to extract them first, so please be patient. If this folder contains only the designs you wish to import, you can choose Select All and then Import. Remember that you can also use the Shift or Command keys for partial selections. The default name for the font is the folder from which it came. You have the ability to change this by typing in a new name. The default baseline is set to bottom and can be changed with this pull-down menu. This is where you want the alignment to take place, just like writing on lined paper. For most fonts, leave this as it is at bottom, but for most monogram fonts, choose center. Your first character is shown in the center between the two bars. There are a couple different ways that you can assign the designs to keys on your keyboard. The first, of course, is manually. Press the key that will pull up this design when the font is being used. You will see that because we realize that many alphabet fonts will have logical file names and display in order, we have added some shortcut buttons to facilitate the mapping process. If you see capital A, B, C, etc. on the screen, most likely it will progress until the capital letter Z. So you can press the A to Z shortcut button and the letters are mapped sequentially for you. Wow! Wasn't that easy? The other shortcut buttons work in the same fashion and can be applied in order to help you map the letters quickly. Once the letters have been mapped, you can save the font. However, you may want to adjust the baseline for some of the letters that descend below, like the letter Y, P, and Q. To do that, simply click on the letter that needs to be adjusted and drag it to where it belongs on the screen display. This location will be saved with the key mappings so that you do not have to do this again. Once you have made your baseline adjustments, save your font and close this dialog box. Now let's see how to use the font that you have just imported. This font will now be available with the built-in fonts of Essentials. Choose the lettering button at the top and type in your text into the Properties pane and click Set. Here we have typed Happy Birthday. From the pull-down menu, you will see all of the your available keyboard fonts, including the one that you just added. Those that have the needle next to the name have been imported and do not have the same object properties as the built-in fonts. They do take advantage of the lettering tools in the dialog. Select the font that you have just mapped. Look at your design page. Wow! The program just pulled in all the letters you imported and assigned to the keyboard to spell Happy Birthday in this imported font. Look at how the smart kerning automatically adjusted the spacing between the letters to compensate for the dangles, snuggled right in there like a built-in font. You can adjust the spacings with the slider bars. Imagine how long it would have taken you to create this design without Alphatrix. On second thought, don't think about it too long. You just saved yourself oodles of time, so let's save this file and head on over to the embroidery machine. Thanks for watching this video on how to import an alphabet design set using the Alphatrix Feature Pack for Essentials.